Hey, Dojo Nation, Randy Reed here. Hey, we got a couple of uh, interesting subjects for this week. Number one, how to use your belt to help some of your kids understand their martial arts classes better. And number two, some marketing tips and some upcoming events. Randy Reed, Coffee with a Karate Guy, coming right up. <laughs> So back in my teaching days, and as I was progressing as a school owner and as an instructor, um, one of the challenges that would come up once in a while is the old, I think I'm ready for my belt, I deserve my belt, worse yet, the parent that says my child is ready for their next belt, um, and what's even worse is the parent who says my child's better than X, so he should have the same belt as X. Those are all uh, very frustrating arguments. So one of the things I used to do, especially I, I made sure that the people that needed to hear it were in class at that time. And I would set the kids down and I would bring up a child, usually the one that I was having some challenges with. And I would ask them to take off their belt. And then I would take off my belt. And I would take my belt and I would wrap it around them. And I would tie it very formally, then I would take their belt and wrap it around one time, of course, um, and I would put on, let's say it's their green belt. Then the question I would ask everybody is, is Johnny a black belt? And of course, they'd all say, yes, he is. I'd say, now, is he really? Does he have black belt skill? Has he, has he developed into what a real black belt is? No, he's really not. Am I a green belt? Some would laugh, you know how that goes, but they would get the subject. No, I'm not a green belt. So then I would take off both belts and lay them on the floor. And I would say, am I still a black belt? Oh yeah. Is Johnny still a green belt? Yep. Even though we're not wearing our belts. So what does that tell us about the belts? The belts are strictly a symbol of what we've accomplished. What we have been able to discipline ourselves to accomplish and what we've earned and deserved. So if I give someone a black belt or someone gets a black belt or their next belt before they really are that belt till they have earned it and they have internalized it, I can put a belt on anybody. It's up to them to earn the belt. And the more they understand that, the more it takes some of that pressure off of I need to get my belt. You get some of these hyper uh, helicopter parents that dr driving their kids, the belt's the only thing that matters. We've had some pretty, you know, as all uh, we have, everybody that owns a school have some pretty amazing stories of some parents uh, being online on that. But I found by doing that and talking through the kids to the parents, I've uh, made some very good, uh, some very good impressions on the kids and the parents. It's helped a ton with the attitude in the school. And it's a great way to explain that to parents other than your kid just hasn't put in the work and doesn't get his belt yet. Next up, quickly, let's talk about some marketing. Uh, once again, news came out, uh, everybody's getting pretty optimistic about the vaccine coming out. I think you're gonna see between the vaccine and the election, I think you're gonna see uh, things starting to loosen up. So I sure hope you're doing everything you can to plan for the future, that you're doing your planting right now. You're getting your Facebook ads out there with video views, building up your pixels, getting ready to educate, nurture your marketing area, and to be able to strike when the iron's hot, because I think it's going to get pretty hot here. I'm getting more and more confident about 2021 um, all the time. We got some upcoming uh, events two weeks from this weekend. Uh, I think today's the 19th. Melody Schumann, Melody Johnson, is having her event down in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. I went to that thing a couple years ago. It's a blast. Um, highly recommended if you're in that area. And Cause Talks is going great. We are, we've got people enrolling and spend. Uh, you can you can pay your hundred dollar, one hundred percent refundable deposit to hold your spot. Spots are already starting to go, and when they're gone, as I said before. We're in an auditorium. We've got limited seating. So if you're interested, I'll uh, 
what is it, what do they call that thing? I'll put the link right here. You can stick your hundred dollars in there. If it, if we're something goes wrong, uh, we'll give it back to you. Nothing to it. That's about it for this week. Randy Reed for Dojo Nation Coffee and a with a Karate Guy over and out. Thank you.